gals and guys, it's Steph with Chinese Garden. Today we are going to go thrifting. Right down the road from me is a Goodwill and I wanna check it out to see if I can find any garden treasures, things like faces, pitchers, containers, watering cans. I always can find them at a very good price there and it can't be beat. So we're gonna go and see if we can find some treasures. I'm just gonna do one store and press my luck. We might come up empty handed or we might bring home a treasure or two. So come along. First thing I notice, that's actually pretty eye-catching. Interesting. $20 for this bad boy, but I'm passing on it today. Check out this vintage, adorable umbrella. You can tell it's old, but it's got one of those quick pop tabs. Oh, yes. Love it. Here for it. Three dollars. Gone. So many clear vases, but I've got enough of those at home. This teapot in the upper left-hand corner really catches my eye for the Christmas holiday, but I'm not going to get it today. However, I think we're getting warmer. And then, just like that, with a little digging, what is that? A cafeteria tray or some sort of tray with a lip? There's two of them. They are $1.99 and the green tag is 50% off, so a dollar each. That is perfect for soil blocking. Nice little vintage design. Sold. If nothing else, at least I found these today for soil blocking. Really happy about these little vintage trays. And then sometimes you just find pieces that make you smile. Let's see how much, $3.99. Yep, that's coming home with me. It needs a little cleaning, but overall, I'm happy with this piece. I can see a succulent in there or some sort of plant. My mom would love this, wouldn't you, mom? Should I get the Raggedy Ann doll to match my umbrella? You can tell they're from the same air. We'll pass. I thought about these trays for a second for soil blocking, but we'll pass. And then I found these. I like these a little better. The lip seems like it would work a little better. And there's seven of them. So into the cart they go. I think that's gonna be perfect for two to three blocks. So I'm snagging them. And they're on sale for 50% off. Now this little floral cup is pretty. I was thinking as a ramekin for seed starting, but I'm gonna pass. I thought about this for those dog days of summer out with the flowers, but no. Now I know this isn't a Christmas haul, but hear me out. I found some of these nutcrackers in different designs earlier this year, and now I've found two more. I may be starting a new collection. So these are coming home with me. And now that we're on this Christmas train, I run across these perfectly done placemats. No stains. I think these are coming home with me too. A buck a piece. Love the vintage look. I'm doing it. Now back to the task at hand. Things related to the garden. And I know you're thinking, those are holiday trays. They are, but they are also perfect for soil blocking. This is the ideal tray. I've got a long one. I've also got two smaller ones and I really could use them during Christmas as well. Throwback to 1987, that air, love all things vintage. They're coming home with me. Happy about that find. Now this I could see being pretty and polished up and putting a bouquet in there, but I'm gonna pass, not today. Oh, 
I'm all checked out, headed home. I'll go over these with you in the morning. It is the next morning. I've got pretty much everything laid out here except for the other two Christmas items. I put the nutcracker and the placemats away, but I left these out because I'm gonna use these for soil blocking. Here are the vintage trays that I think are actually perfect for soil blocking. Seven of these trays, I'm gonna try. They might be a little small, but at a dollar a piece, wasn't a huge deal. That really unique duck holder slash planter. I'm gonna plant something in there, I think, or give it to my mom to plant a succulent because that's just too cool. And then of course, my umbrella. I love this little umbrella here. All of that, we had a total of 38 22 $20 of that was the Christmas stuff that's not these trays because I am going to use this for soil blocking. But really that comes to about 20 bucks worth of garden items that I can use that I got for a real good deal from Goodwill. And it was such a fun treasure hunt. This is a mirror I got at a different antique store the other week. Isn't that pretty? But that's not a part of this order. So good finds, good times. And that's a wrap for this video, everybody. Thank you for coming on that trip with me. I think we had some good finds. Comment below and let me know what your favorite garden items are to pick up at thrift stores, one of my favorite places to treasure hunt. So please share your ideas below in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel to follow along with all things garden. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Happy planting.